Morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, the calm waters off of Ventura, where we are continuing our one wake boat review series. Uh, this is Casey from uh, Inflatable Boat Specialists, and thank you for having me out here. My pleasure. On Thanks the for water, coming. we got good, good, calm seas today for uh, what is clearly a very small little boat. <laughs> I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. We got three. The, Casey's got three boats for us. This is the little guy. So tell me about uh, tell me about this boat. This is the Avon Sea Sport. It's a luxury tender. People use this to define luxury. It has a leather wrapped steering wheel. It has a leather wrapped steering wheel. <laughs> lots of stainless steel hardware. Courtesy lights inside the foot wells. Um, nice big Yamaha motor for a boat this size. Um, yeah, it's got a 40 horsepower uh, four-stroke outboard, which yeah, this is, is a uh, very small, very light boat with a speed planing hull, um, which is a rigid hull. It is a rigid with hull with an inflatable tube. Okay. Um, it does have built-in trim tabs all the way to the back of the tube. It's oh, really? An unusual design. Um, Zodiac created the design and bought Avon, and they're re-releasing the Zodiac yacht line as the Avon Sea Sport. Which oh, okay. In. Oh, all right, great. So these are like either little harbor runabouts or tenders for yachts, really. Yes. Okay. Cool. What does this thing cost? As as tested. As as tested, this boat you're looking right around twenty two thousand dollars. Twenty two grand, brand new, with a motor on it. With a motor. Okay. Cool. So what does it weigh? You know. This boat it's be light. It, it is very light. You're looking probably around equipped the way it is, 650 pounds. Oh, so very light. Very light. And so I really ruined the power to weight ratio of this boat. All right, well let's uh, let's see how it is. Easy uh, single throttle. Uh, you very, drive it. Very just, easy to operate. Yeah, it's it's exactly what you'd expect. Forward, reverse, steer. Uh, no tillers. We're above the tillers here. Yep. And we have uh, there is a trim adjustment on the right hand side of the throttle. Oh there. yeah. Okay. We're trimmed down right now. Is that kind of what we want? That's that's how we get on plane. All right. And then as we get up there, we can bring the bow down by trimming up a little bit if you want. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, we get sound out here. And so it it takes a second to get up to plane, and then there we are. And all of a sudden, the revs push past 3,700, and now we're moving. So. You kind of want smooth seas for one of these things, huh? Yeah, these are mostly going to be used inside of bays and harbors. Uh, we lucked out, we got a really nice day out here on the open water. So we're about red line right now, 5,000 RPM. What do you think we're doing about, oh, 27 miles an hour? It's about our top speed? That's about what we're going to get with two guys our size in this boat. <laughs> if, I, if you were by yourself, maybe 32, 33? Sure. All right. Let's see how she handles. Not bad. Pretty flat. Chase some seagulls. Yeah. Get out of my way, ducks. Oh, it kind of sticks, huh? This is a really well-designed hull. It handles very, very well. Um, it makes good use of 40 horsepower. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's hit these at an angle. Otherwise, we're going to sail off this thing. Not bad. Would they, I mean, for a boat this size, for a boat this size, is this a, a deep V hull or is it sort of a shallower design? It's a semi-V. It's meant for mid-speed planing. Yeah. Comfortable ride. It's not a race boat. I know you're used no. to that race. No, I mean, I'm actually used to uh, more cruising boats. But I've always, I've never driven a boat this size with like controls. It's always been tillers Tiller. or bigger. Yeah. This is pretty fun, actually. I'm kind of feeling this. It's a fun little boat. Let's flip her around. Let's get off these waves. It's got really responsive steering, though. Oh, yeah. oh, handling. It cuts pretty good. And I think, you know, it stays really flat in corners. Is that because the, you know, because you've got basically ballast on the outside? Yep. The tubes will not let it tip past a certain point, no matter how tight of a turn you're in. So will it start to kind of do a drift after a while, or will it just kind of bog? Yeah, it will. It'll, it'll stick, and you'll feel it bog down a little bit. But at the end of the day, you're still going to get better handling out of a boat with an inflatable tube on it than uh, a similar-sized boat that doesn't. 
How much lighter is this than a comparable like whaler or something? Um, if you were to look at say like a 13 and a half foot whaler, that's going to be well over a thousand pounds. So 60% roughly of what, yeah. Oh, this thing is cool, man. It handles this weight pretty well. Oh, I like it. This is one of our better selling boats at the moment. Uh, people love this thing. It's a lot it's of fun. fun. It's a, a lot of people put these on trailers. Sea lions. Yeah, this is the kind of thing where you put it on a trailer and take it just to kind of putter around, huh? Absolutely. So what I like about these is that you can dock them very sloppily and it doesn't really matter. They're, you know? they're very forgiving regardless yeah. of what you're using them for. The inflatable tubes are it's a big bumper. Yeah, you can bounce it off the dock or off your off your uh, your, your main boat or whatever yeah, it is. Exactly. It's pretty fun though, this thing. I kind of, I'm feeling it. Is this the biggest motor you can put on this? On this size, yes. This boat's available in four different sizes. Uh -huh. The largest version will take up to a 90 horsepower motor. And how big is that? Um, that's no. going to be a 15 and a half foot version And what's of this, this, like a 12? Yep. Okay. This is small. This is, this, a, is a, this is under 12 feet. This is a little, this is a little boat. Like, I don't know if I'd want one of these as an only boat. It was, this is a tender for me, but I could see the 15 with the 90. Could you pull a skier on that one? Absolutely, yeah, we could put a tow post on there. That would be cool. I feel that, all right. One more speed run and then we call it. So what, right now I'm flat, but it, it's like, it wants to go, it wants to go, it wants to go, and, and then it finally breaks through. Breaks through, finally breaks through there. It's interesting that it won't give it more revs until it uh, has the, the speed to do it. Oh! Yeah, you're, at that point you're just barging through the water yeah. and waiting for the hole to catch and hit the sweet spot. So wait, I can trim up a little bit here and get a little more? Yeah. Oh, now, yeah, there we go. You can feel the boat rise out of the water a little bit. Oh, air! <laughs> And now we're pushing over 30. Yeah, there we go. Up there. 30 miles an hour. All right. Yeah, now I can feel it gets nice and light. Now it wants to really go. And our revs are up over 5,000. Well. Yeah, 5,100 RPM. We're moving. That was a good little boat, man. I like this. This is cool. <laughs> Yeah! 30 mile an hour on a 12 foot boat feels like a lot. That's like going 100 in a go-kart, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow, that's cool. Oh, I will say this. Okay, if I had a criticism, it would be that my back is now soaking wet. Yeah. So there's that. So it's not a dry boat. No. You're getting wet on this thing. You are. Yeah, I'm, I'm real wet. <laughs> really. If you're going from your yacht to the casino yeah, uh, no, for it's the a... evening, then... It's a good thing you. Uh, it's a good thing you gave me that tender because, uh, or that that T-shirt because I'm going to need it this afternoon. All right, Casey from Inflatable Boat Specialist. Thanks, man. My pleasure. This is a fun little boat. All right, I hope you guys like that one. This is a little boat. We're gonna go to a bigger boat now. We're gonna go do the uh, what six and a half the, meter the, Zodiac Pro Open Six Fifty. Yeah, yeah, twin engine. That's gonna be good. Uh, InflatableBoatSpecialist.com. Inflatableboats.net. Inflatableboats.net if you uh, if you want to buy a rib boat. These things are cool. I can't wait to do the next one. See you later.